Hi everyone, here's Abdul. I hope everyone is doing fine today. So today I have the two years review of um, one of my favorite watches, uh, the Nomos Club Campus Amsterdam uh, Limited Edition from Ace Jewelers. Shout out to Alon at uh, Ace Jewelers Amsterdam. Thanks for, um, yeah, I was one of the, the only 75 people to get this watch because it's limited to 75. And the package was really cool. They got the um, got like a couple of gifts from Amsterdam, and uh, strap as well, which was really nice. So, by the way, I'm wearing this uh, my newest edition Seagull 1963. Um, the chronograph is really nice. Um, I have to say, until now, looks really good. So, going back to the watch. What could I say about it? Um, the design you can see, Nomos is one of the leading companies in Bauhaus designs. It's not the oldest, it um, was established in 1990 um, and um, they have a, a bit of a Berlin vibe to them. So they have a minimalist functional design, uh, Bauhaus design and um, uh, they made this alpha movement, which is, yeah, let's say an ETA clone. But uh, as you can see, they have this handwork that they did, uh, the perlage and uh, the glass with the stripes, because it's not it's not in Swiss, so it's not Geneva uh, stripes, it's glass with the stripes. And uh, you can see that the movement has uh, around 2.3 millimeters of diameter, so it's not until the end of the... <coughs> case that's one of the things that i don't like about the watch one of the very few things so i might get them out of the way first so as you can see the movement is just a beautiful movement and uh, hand wild movement 43 uh, hours of power reserve um, just great movement in the two years it was working quite well and um, i really liked uh, it, it's not loud it, it uh, it winds very smoothly and it has this, I'll show you, this winding uh, safety mechanism. So if you wind the watch till the end, now you can see I cannot wind it anymore. So it tells me it's full. So in vintage watches, uh, you, you could overwind the watch and then you damage the movement. And uh, this is one of the complications uh, that I love about this watch. So I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a mixed signal now, one negative, one positive, but... Uh, um, yeah, hear me out. So this is one of the negatives is that it's a fingerprint magnet. As you can see, if I take it with my hands, it's just taking the, the, the fingerprints because it's so shiny. The, if it was in matte, I would have loved it much, much more. I would have worn it much more, um, more of a... Uh, not office watch, but more like a field watch because it's a hundred meter water resistant. It doesn't have a screw down crown, but hundred meters is hundred meters. Uh, so I would have used it as a as a field watch, but uh, due to the fact that it's very shiny, it's uh, it gets scratched very easily. Um, so that's why I don't wear it that often uh, in in these situations. Let's say. So what else? The dial. The dial is just amazing the combination of the red and black is just really nice one thing i don't like i think when they apply applied the the new colors they didn't um they used maybe the same dials and then over applied the color over the blue color that was already there because oh okay so seems like the batteries. So let me change the battery and come back to you guys. So I'm back. Put some batteries in the UV light torch. So as you can see, I put it around, put it on the numerals. And you can see that the dial, but it doesn't really emit that much light the hands do emit light but the numerals they go really fast and i think it's just maybe a a, a bit of um, 
Morlum, maybe around the numerals would have been the way to go, but yeah, uh, who cares? Um, to be honest, I have a mobile phone to look at uh, the time at night, but sometimes it's useful to to have uh, at least hands that are emitting. The hands tend to stay a bit, but not so much. Um, you get also a buckle, a sign buckle, and you get this sign strap, velour strap, really nice. This is like the perfect office. This is like uh, the starter if you finished university and uh, or maybe going into university, getting a nice watch for university or something like that, or starting a new job and because it's around, I think, 1,000, 1,000, I think I paid 1,400 euros for this one because it's a limited edition. Um, but you have the Ludwig line, you have also the Orion line, the Tetra line, they're around the 1,000 or uh, below. So you could get something for the office, uh, pretty uh, simple watch, really reliable, looks good. But this one I like because it has this 100 meter. I've went swimming multiple times with it. I took it to the beach multiple times and it's working Perfectly, or we'll see now on the time grapher how it will uh, perform. Um, yeah, I got the strap from uh, from Ace Jewelers. They they sent it with it. It's really soft red strap. Complements it really nice. But I ordered from uh, one of my favorite uh, watch uh, or strap dealers on eBay. Uh, this one this crocodile red leather and it just looks really fun really nice on it um yeah complements the color really well so as i was saying it's 38.5 millimeters in diameter let me open this oh sorry to open it zero it out open it from here so it's 38.5 yeah this calipers are sometimes summation but let's see if 48.94 yes around the same thing for the manufacturer numbers and 8.88 so maybe 8.5 they don't want to pressure so much i already put a uh, little bit of tape on it so i don't scratch that much but scratches still happen so always be careful with your tools against your watches because as you can see, I have a lot of scratches on the back as I tend to change a lot of straps with them as well. So as you can see, I want to show you a, a close-up of the... Let's see if I can do that. Yeah. And you get like a picture of uh, all the watchmakers that worked on the watch. And uh, it's a really nice touch also by Nomos. Um, yeah, I think I'll, um, I'll put it on the time grapher and then show you a couple of uh, wrist shots on the, on the wrist with it. And uh, yeah, let's see how it performs on the time grapher. Get the... It's here. Let's move this to a so we'll give it like 10 minutes on the time grapher. Sorry about that. Let's mute this out. Ouch. So as you can see it's starting from minus 26. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, I'll, I'll uh, leave it for a bit and come back to you guys. I just wanted to show you guys that it's went down to minus two, minus three seconds per day. Um, 322 amplitude. It's amazing, uh, really, the work from uh, 0 0.2 milliseconds beat error. Mm, okay, that's um, a bit uh, 21,600 vibration per hour. And yeah, that's why the line is going like this it's not going straight because of the beat error so maybe we could uh, try it in a different position uh, maybe uh, side down and let's see if it's uh, 
going in the same O, uh, even higher bit error. Uh, in this position, it's basically if you're standing and uh, your hand is against your uh, side. So you're standing and your watch is like this. Uh, it's not so bad, actually. It, um, it, the beat error is a bit higher, 0 0.5 milliseconds. But um, minus 3, minus 1, minus 1, minus 3. Amplitude still over 280, which is still very good. Two years of wear, like I said, took it to the beach several times, uh, took it uh, traveling around with me several times as well. Minus four, still acceptable. Like I said, minus three again. Yeah, it's, it's going pretty well. Maybe I'll uh, change just the position. Usually I take a bit more time to, to leave it, but I just wanted to, to have a a general idea about uh, the accuracy for in, in all directions as you can see amplitude is still high oh that jumped and this is um, a bit of a, how can you say it's, a, it's when you position your watch like this um, most probably you're sitting on your desk and uh, you have your hand maybe like that so in this position it's don't think it's uh, that important but still minus seven, which is still pretty good. Let's see in this position, like I said, if you are going like this, so minus 12, Peter is correcting itself, minus 16. I think it corrects itself. So you know, in this position, I'd like to leave it maybe a couple of minutes to see if it will correct itself or not. So it seemed like it didn't correct itself. As you may notice, uh, a little bit of a higher tick. Just wanted to show you a comparison between the, let's say, the modern German design of watches and the vintage ones. So this is a, a portable desk watch, as you can see, the numbering, the chapter ring, the design, like the hands, it has a close resemblance to each other, which I really like. As you can see, this one, you can set it up like this. So, as you can see, the watch, I really like it. I um, I do recommend people getting it. Um, I think Philip IV was one of the one people who said uh, Nomos is like Rolex from 50 years. This one is really loud. And um, I do think that uh, if you do get a chance to buy a Nomos with a good price, do it. If you get the chance to buy a limited edition like this one with a MSRP, do get it you will really enjoy it the, the value is there you get everything what you paid for uh, except the movement that goes until the end <laughs> but uh, like i said uh, they have the duw movement they are uh, in-house these also are in-house but as i said they are clones uh, from the unita movement uh, in the time before the uh, eta era but the duw movements they have automatic and they have the manual winds one and they really beautiful watches and uh, well made and like i said definitely recommend it uh, if you have any questions about this watch leave them in, in the comment below and also uh, yeah if, if if you would like leave a like and also subscribe and uh, yeah i hope to see you in the next one have a great one bye Hi everyone back, um, sorry I forgot to show you the watch on the wrist, as you can see I have a 16.5 now, I've lost a bit of uh, muscle mass, in, uh, muscle mass in, uh, in the couple of weeks, so 16.5 centimeters, as you can see the 49 almost millimeter lug width is it's quite good, it looks nice, the normal 41 millimeters are too big for me, I tried them out, 
don't suit me at all. So the under 40 millimeters, so the 38.5 ones are just the perfect size for me, as you can see on this subscribe strap. It looks pretty cool. So thanks again for watching. Thanks again for uh, sticking with me until the end, until seeing the, the wrist shots and everything. And uh, yeah, if you'd like, uh, please do subscribe and hit the like button. And uh, if you have any question, leave them in the comments below. And hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.